All right, how we all doing, everybody? Uh, title screen kind of says it all. It is Sonic Frontiers yet again. I think this is part six, maybe seven, but I think it's part six of me playing through this um, incredible game uh, brought to you, of course, by Sega and Sonic Team. And, you know, I say incredible. I realize that it has issues. I realize it has its flaws. It has the pop in cyberspace levels are not always the most fun. And it's still frustrating that they use old level gimmicks. I realize, you know, I've, I've read other people's critiques of the game, and I agree with almost all of them, and yet I still find myself loving this game, and really just loving this month for me. Uh, November was supposed to be a big month for me, with Sonic Frontiers coming out, uh, Christmas season, and I don't know if you can see the background behind me, but I've been doing a lot of that too, Christmas decorating, so really trying to just prioritize everything, which can always be a challenge, especially when you work three jobs, but... I'm here to have fun. I hope, hopefully, you're all here to have fun as well. Uh, Sonic Frontiers. We made it up to Chaos Island, which is the third island in the game. Um, apparently, today was also the release date of some free DLC for the game based on Monster Hunter. I, I did not download that. Maybe it'll download in the background. You know what? Actually, let me see. Let me look into it. Now, well, it's not something I really want to distract me from the main thing. Let me just see by chance if it maybe bought it for our birthday. Oh, very nice. So you do have the game then. Yeah, so I don't have the... The Monster Hunter DLC um, is free. Um, that's something that's actually right here, or would be right here on the home screen if I remembered how to do it. Let's see, home screen. Uh, yeah, Monster Hunter DLC is a free add-on. I don't know, like, how long that would take to download or if it would mess anything up, so I'm not going to touch it right now. Uh, the world of Monster Hunter collides with the Monster Hunter. Forge your frontier. So basically, it's like an outfit, and then you get... You get like a a cooking mini game or something. So, yeah, that's that's beautiful. I'm not gonna do it right now. It, it has nothing to do with the game or the story. So we're just gonna continue with where we are right now. Um, Chaos Island. I will check it out at some point. Oh, all right, here we go. Now, one thing that's kind of cool, I don't know, maybe not cool, is you notice Sonic's idle animation right now is that he's like, you know, he's got like a headache. He's got his hand on his head. So it's almost like, you know, like obviously that's not good. Like he's got. Um, yeah, I don't want to give it away, but like as the story goes on, Sonic seems to get a little bit more weary. I compared this to Monster Hunter several times, and now this. Well, apparently they were on you. They were thinking the same damn thing. So I know there's a cyberspace portal back this way. Uh, let me just go ahead and open the interface here. How many? Oops. Why is this button working here? Why can't I open the map? I'm trying to open the map. I feel like Patrick trying to open the jar of pickles. The map, the map, the map, the map, the map. It's usually the PS5 option button. How oh, about that just spawns a ramp? That's alright. At least you didn't compare it to Breath of the Wild like everybody else. Ooh, it's Breath of the Wild. But seriously, why can't I get my map open? Options. I would like the map to work, please. Well, if only because I want to see my progress on, um, there we go. So I need, I still need four more vault keys. I'll try this again. There's only one more. Actually, if I clear this mission, I think I get the four vault keys. But anyway, I'll try this. Um, I need the S rank tie. That's the only key I haven't gotten yet. And this level, I want to say this level's hard, but in terms of doing it in time, yeah, it's a little tricky. Because if you make too many mistakes, obviously you're not going to get the S rank time. But what the heck, we'll do our shop. Also, happy birthday to you, as always. Thank you for joining the stream tonight. I'm sure you had other options, but you went with us in instead, and we appreciate that. So I think the S rank time here is like... 255, which for one of these levels, that's actually a pretty generous time frame. Okay, let's not even do this. Let's, um, let's retry right now. Because every time you die, it doesn't reset the time, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Mm. Okay, we're going to die again. I 
this one goes out to Shad's on his birthday. If I can do anything. Well, close enough. We're, we're still here. Better late than never. The important thing is, you got Sonic Frontiers. So welcome to those, welcome to the exclusive club of people who have played Frontiers. There's probably like millions of people, but still, they will all come all the same. It's kind of a fun rhythm to this once you get used to the kind of wonky controls. And they are wonky. I didn't mean to open that. Fuck! That's my time right there. That's my, that's my S rank right there. I'm pretty sure I just lost it. That's a kick in the nuts. That was like a nearly perfect run. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get it now. I didn't realize that that checkpoint, I didn't realize that checkpoint was gonna be so far away from the freaking. I missed it. It's like 255 is the S rank time. I'm not, I'm not doing it again either. That, that was as close to a perfect run as I was going to get. I just messed up on, like, this jump here. That was literally it, because I think at the end of this, it's like the end. Yep, yeah, that's the end of the level. That's the end of the last so pit. Oh, that's how tight it is. But that's on, I'm also on the third island, so the levels do get harder. But 255 is the S-rank time. I was 314, but that's because I died and had to respawn. That sucks so bad. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. If it was a shorter level, I would. If it was like a minute long level, if it was like a minute long level, I would. But like, I don't feel like, you know, basically you can't die. If you die, you end up losing the time. And I died at like the last like quarter of that course. So there's other cyberspace portals. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not playing this game to grind away on one of them. Unless it becomes my only choice. But like I said, there are other ones I just haven't found yet. Although one thing I don't love about this island is how hard it is to find things. You could say that about some of the other islands too, but this one especially. Point, I have not come across a whole lot of the cyberspace portals, to be honest. I still really want to go up there where the corkscrew stone patterns are. I'm sure at some point you get to go there. And that's going to be really fun when I do. I also want to do more of the challenges to try to open up the map, because I feel like I'm missing some traversal options by not doing those. I haven't come across a lot, though. Oh, hello. That's a new one. 
Also, Tails is just chilling here. All right, let's talk to Tails. Talk to Tails, that's fine. Talk to Tails. See what Tails deal is, right? I usually take the uh, face cam off for the cutscenes. I analyzed the cyberspace portal the last time you were accessing it. While you were online, it opened up a flood of data. It was way too much to process. I did get a glimpse of the ancient's personal data. Oh, so what? You know all their birthdays now? Much well, we more got, than that. Sonic. We got five bits from Shads. Appreciate it. Their hopes, their dreams, everything that made them what they were. Do you see the correlation? Sounds a lot like what happened to you, Amy, and Knuckles. I mean, I'm glad you're all intact, but why were you all uploaded like that? That is weird. Another question the game poses and then never really answers. But thanks for the bits. I do appreciate it. This is a uh, 5 out of 5 game, so I appreciate the 5 bits to show it. So this is a new cyberspace portal. So let's see here. we got a chance to hopefully get maybe all four of those emerald keys. But even if I just get a couple of them. Sometimes you can find them through other means. You can find them through battle or different tasks you do in the world. But if not, it's not the end of the world. So we got three, four, so we got, all we have to do is get 30 rings for one of them. That's pretty, sounds easy. Maybe this is a short level. I don't know. This one we'll give a try here. I forget how many emeralds I have right now, if it's three or four. You really don't end up collecting all seven by way of doing this because there's mini games and stuff that kind of get you emeralds. So it ends up turning into like, I don't know. I'm just going to shut up now and let this thing do its thing. Got a lot. People say Sonic is on rails. In this case, they might have a point. God oh, damn it, I missed the first red ring, so that's out. Never mind on that one. All right, this looks kind of cool, I guess. Oh, we got lasers. Who doesn't like lasers? Okay, I was going to say, the first time I hit the laser, it didn't do any damage. That time, it clearly did. What the fuck? Oh, see, I hate stuff like that. That's when I'll retry the stage, because then it's messing up my time, in addition to me not getting that first red ring. I love the electronic music, though. Okay. Air boost kind of messes with some of these jumps, or if you can even call them that. Perspective isn't the best either. It's like half 2D, half 3D. It's like, make up your mind. What do you want to be? It reminds me of, like, Sonic Lost World. Kind of a stage like this. Oh, hello. Oh, bye-bye. There goes my shortcut, if that was supposed to be one. Kind of a cool course, though. Oh, wow, okay, I got a little perspective switching. Nice, nice, nice. That's kind of a long jump. Oh, I missed that red ring. I'm not sure it's possible to get all the red rings on one run because they put them all, like, somewhere in the background, somewhere in the foreground. Seems like a fast enough time. Maybe that'll do something. Got the S rank. All right, so we got two. We got two of the goals. That's two keys. That works for me. Kind of weird how I stumbled upon that cyberspace portal. I could swear I would have seen that by now, but hey, okay. just goes to show you, you got to really comb these lands well. So how far have you gotten in Frontiers? You said you already had it and whatnot. Oh, yeah. All right, that's two keys. Not a bad, uh... Got two more I gotta get, but I still have more cyberspace portals to discover as well. Okay. Oh, enemies! I was waiting for a little combat. Oh!
think one of them just dropped a portal here. Oh, no. Portal there. There's, I think there's like seven or eight of those portals in the world. I don't remember being up on this mountain. Let's say, even Sonic can't defy gravity to a certain point. Hey, what's up, Rem? Thanks for joining tonight, little Sonic Frontiers action. We're still here on uh, Chaos Mountain or Chaos Island, whatever this place is called. I think I finally found a new area. I do enjoy eating watermelon gummies. Well, like the Sour Patch Kids ones, those are great. Those are great. Did you wish Shads a happy birthday? I did. Not their birthday like today, but... Watermelon gummies. What is this world coming to? Boing. Boing. I do enjoy boing. I have not just seen yet. I like those little jumping jack things that appear once in a while. That was the slowest Siloop ever, but it worked. Got the job done. All right, now we're starting to see some new stuff. Don't quite remember that structure in the background there. Oh, enemies. YOLO. You enjoy a good bout of enemies. Oh, okay. Kind of froze in midair there for a second. Oh, this looks really cool. Oh, that's a vault key. I'm one short now. All right, so how do I get up here? Apparently, I can get up here. I did not think I got... That was pretty awesome. Whoa, 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 come Are you kidding me? I just got invisible walled. I cleared that. Oh, that's BS. That's got to be like a story thing or something that, that's blocked. There is no way I had that. I jumped the ramp. There's no way I couldn't have cleared that. You all saw it. It's an open world game. How am I getting like hit with the freaking, uh, what do you call it? An invisible wall in an open world game. But there's clearly more on the other side there. I don't know why I'm bothering going back there. I guess I can still go this way instead of the other way. But I mean, that's such BS that I couldn't have just gone over that bridge or whatever it was. I don't even know if that is a bridge, but whatever it is, I should have been able to go over it. Oh, this is pretty cool, though. I guess I, guess I have no choice. I can't go the other way. I wish I could find one of those guys to level me up or whatever. I knows I'm in some need of leveling up. Okay, I like this little like spikes in the background that turn into the foreground. That's different. Actually, it actually is different. I, I can't believe I'm saying that. It seems like a pretty unique, a uh, pretty like basic type of gimmick, but I had not seen that before. Is this like in a frozen mountain, or what is this here? Ooh, enemies just chilling up here. One of the more interesting Sonic control schemes I've seen. Damn it if it's not fun discovering some of this stuff for the first time. Like, I'm sure after I've beaten the game and everything, I'll get kind of tired of it. But, like, for right now, I'm enjoying it. And I like doing those challenges only because I haven't done one in a while and I need to get some of those rails and I just need stuff. Hey, that actually opened up a decent part of the map. Usually it'll like open up like a little blip. It'll be like, blip. You can now go one square more over. 
I don't remember which way I was going, but I'm kind of intrigued by this little platforming stuff going on here. Sonic is a platformer after all. I know it's easy to forget that at times, but he, he, he does do the platforming pretty well when he wants to. But he doesn't do what I just did. I was going to say, I didn't know if there was ground under me. Apparently there was not. I'm almost kind of glad, though, because I, I wouldn't have wanted to start from wherever that left me. I'd rather start from here again. Okay, here we go. got to say, this, this game looks really pretty when it's in this particular time of day, whatever this is supposed to be, like afternoon or whatever. See, this is the stuff we as Sonic fans like to see, platforming in a platforming game, like... I don't know why there wasn't more of this shown off in the initial teasers. I know they didn't want to give away the third island of the game or anything. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Now we be up here. So this goes to another rail segment. I still want to get up there. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Bring corkscrew with the other things. Like, that's like a floating Sonic level right there. Which I guess that's the point. But, I mean, like, that is awesome. I don't know if this rail is going to take us there. Probably not, but... Whatever. I'm going to enjoy the ride wherever we end up going here. we got four different layers of uh, rail. And I am determined to get up there. That just looks super satisfying to get to. But will I be able to do it? That's another story. But I'm getting some air. And uh, I'm getting some nighttime vibes from this. Oh, no, 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 no. What is he doing? No, Sonic. Bad, bad. I was going to a new place. Sonic, you can't be so resistant to change, man. Let me go back. Oh, this is kind of dumb. You need, like, a rail switch or something, like how a train has that. Like, you know, if you want to go the other way. I mean, if this gets me closer to that thing, which actually it might. Okay. I can live with that if it gets me closer to the big corkscrew thingy in the sky. I would be more than happy to check that out. Right now, though, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I feel like I just got taken back to where I started. I literally got taken back to where I started. Although, how close am I to that big thing in the background? Probably not very close. It's out there, though. I, I really want to get to it. Like, I really... Really want to get there. But let me try the rail again. Let me try to actually not screw it up at the very, very end there. That was just annoying. That was annoying. That was on me, though. Okay, that, that's not on me. That's on the game. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, so the, the game is not a perfect game by any means. I'm not going to claim it is, but damn it if I'm not having a blast with it. So let me try and take the path I just took. It was not easy to stay on that path. As we just saw. So that's what I should have done is just stayed on there and let that do its thing. Skill points. I got 99 skill points. I got nothing to spend them on. Not a thing. Alright, that makes a speed booster appear. Any any more cyberspace portals up here? I mean, I feel like this is an unexplored area. That'd be something, right? Alright, that just seemed like a whole lot of whatever going on there. Got ourselves a challenge. Oh, it's one of these Tetris challenges. These are not easy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really one for those. What's this with the, uh, the hexadecimal thingies? The hex hex patterns. Hex marks a spot. Oh, I kind of like this. Can we climb on these little crystallic structures. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, game, take your time. Oh, hello. Want to go on these? Yeah, all right. All right, I'm liking this. Get down with the sickness here. Is 
Okay, I almost feel like you're not like supposed to be able to get up here, but like, I like that I'm, or at least you're not supposed to do it the way I'm doing it. Oh, you can actually climb on them. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize these were climbable with the wall climb. This is really beautiful, I gotta say. I did not expect anything like this. I mean, people complaining this game doesn't have like a snowy level, like this kind of feels like one, even though it's also like a volcano or whatever. Didn't that just take, I was gonna say, I just did all this. Oh, whatever. Like, there's still more to see, even within this one little limited area. Kind of let myself fall on purpose there, just because I wanted to see what would happen. Spoilers, I fell. Nope, I messed that up. Hold on, hit it again. I don't care. I know this platforming is kind of basic as hell, but it's, it's, it's getting the job done for me. I like it well enough. It's also the kind of thing that's going to be really hard to remember the layout of just because of all the 2D and 3D stuff going on at the same time. Wait, uh, I'm not going to be able to get that. Okay, one of them dropped something. He dropped a uh, seat of power. I've got a billion more of these things. How many emeralds do I have again? Three. So I'm like not even like halfway done here. Although, like I said, they do kind of get more generous with the emeralds as the level goes on. A little bit. Not a little know what all that accomplished. I thought I saw a time trial challenge chilling here. Oh, time to do some tricks. Looking me out here. I do like these little crystal-y things. I do. They definitely put some thought into the different variety, like the variety of worlds you can explore with Sonic in this game. nice to see. Obviously, that's why you play a new Sonic game. Oh, there's another one of those birds. Do I want to try to ride it to another island, I wonder? I was going to say, it's not going to matter either way. It's going to follow me till I either parry it or kill it. Both. Can I get across to that other side? It looks like I could. At this point, it feels like it's all kind of the same stuff, but... Right. The Tetris things I'm just really bad at. Alright, so what am I trying to, like, make that cube that's on the left? I think that's what I'm trying to do. So, I would have to... find... I think this shape was first, right? Let me just try it. Let's try it. Okay. And then... Uh, boy, I don't know. Uh, where's the little, like... I don't know, I'm probably going to mess this up. Okay, now hold on. That looks like pieces of it. And then we'd have to find... I feel like there aren't enough pieces here for this, but let's, uh, this is the only piece that's left, I think. All right, I guess that was it. All right, well, maybe these aren't as hard as I thought. That one at least kind of spelled it out for me. Another seat of defense. I'm sitting on a million of those. Still no more cyberspace portals appearing on the map, though. But okay. It doesn't hurt to do this. Like, it definitely kind of helps a little bit. Okay, I feel like there's got to be something, like, way up on one of these. Or even, like, you got those towers out there. That's got to be something, right? Doesn't have to be, but it could be. Okay, we got some 
platforms that materialize. It's always good to see. Always love some materializing platforms. Gotta have that. Definitely a thing that needs to be in a Sonic game. But what? I did not even mean to do that, but alright. Time to just randomly spam that bird enemy with attack. Sonic's like, even I'm laughing. Oh, I was like, why did that just happen? And then I'm like, oh, that's right, it triggered the ultra boost or whatever. Whatever it's called. We got some Big the Cat fishing tokens here. Which I, I have not found a single Big the Cat uh, fishing spot since the first island, so take that as you will. So we got some of that going on there. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So how's your guys' night going? Appreciate you tuning into the Chaos Blur for a little Sonic Frontiers action yet again. We got another bumper. We'll go to another bumper. Yeah, I've done, I've done this before, but whatever. Sometimes there's more than one path you can go to, so it's still worth checking out. Still a lot of this island I have not seen. I don't even know if I've climbed this area yet. I know there was a I thought there was a time trial thing hiding around here. It's one of those hourglass things. Maybe it was just my imagination. Alright, time for me to go ouch. Just a moment. Ouch! That hurt, I guess. Wait, really? I got down. We're in a big circle here. I was say, I've already maxed out on rings. Uh. There are more of those, like, crystal things that go into the distance. I wonder how far... Oh, is that an enemy? That is an enemy. Oh, nice recovery smash. Custom. Oh, nice recovery smash again. Watch out. Ouch. Ooh, the, the randomly triggered homing shot. I'm a fan of that one. Oh! Spin slash. Alright. This guy's got some moves. I feel like these are basically the only enemies you really encounter regularly. Like, there's the bird, but that's only now and then. Otherwise, it's just the red guys. Still really cool island here. Very nice environment. Actually, it might be the most Sonic-looking environment in the game. Like, the, just the shapes of the structures and just, like, how obtuse it is. Like, that feels like a classic Sonic type of thing while still being a new environment we've never seen before. So, what, what is going on over here? Like, can I... I must be able to get up there. I feel like almost everything in this game is accessible, except for that one part I got hit with an invisible wall in open world game, go figure. Yeah, that really happened. Oh, okay! I definitely don't remember going up here, because I don't remember getting, like, blocked by that thing. Alright, we gotta be... Patience! Patience is a virtue, my friend. As I do the same thing again. Not being an idiot is a virtue, my friends. Not falling off the platform is a virtue, my friends.
Let's say, while it's taking me this high, let me try and like make something of it, or I could just die. Damn it, I really thought I could land on those. Those looked landable. Is that a word? Landable? Like, they look like I could have landed on them. Not so much. All right. Cool. Fair enough. So I'm one, one key short of the next... Um, is that one I haven't done yet? No, I've done that one. I, I don't know. I don't know where these... These cyberspace portals are hidden pretty well, I gotta say. I am trying to discover new areas at the same time. I feel like this game's day-night cycle is way too fast. It's like a minute and a half, and it's like nighttime again. I mean, I like cycling through the different aesthetics, but at a certain point, it's like, when am I going to get to, like, actually enjoy, like, one time a day for more than two seconds? Whatever, I guess. How far down can I go on these before I die? stuff just happened there. Can't see. Alright. I never want to say like I've done everything on one part of the island or another, but I do feel like this part of the island's a little bit barren. Like I feel like maybe I have done almost everything. Like I hit the challenges. There were only like two of them to hit. I did them both. Uh, I don't know what else unless I'm just missing something super obvious, which is definitely possible. Weirder things have happened. And we got more stuff down there. Oh, I don't know what just possessed me to go that way. Operator error, maybe. How high up here can I go? I wonder. Pretty high up. More of the tokens. As long as I can keep going, I'm going to keep going. Speed dasher. I'm not really tempted to hit that. Every time I hit a speed dasher, it just kind of takes me in a very like, pre planned direction. There's like something up here, it looks like I have not gotten yet. Ah, a few rings, I thought it was more than that, but maybe not. I don't know how the hell I just did that, but alright. Try to ride the bird. If I remember the button for it. Got it. No. Bad bird. Go this way. I'm gonna try to ride to this part of the island that was like gated off before. I don't know why I think it's gonna work. But it's still curious that I couldn't get over here. Also kind of weird, the humming noise that bird makes. They probably should have gotten that thing checked out at the shop. Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to go over here until probably like the end of the level or something. There's got to be a reason. I'm going to die. There's got to be a reason why that's gated off. Because that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Especially in a so-called open world game or open zone game. Alright, well... I do kind of, unless there's more to do on this part of the island, I don't really see the point in staying on this part. It is really nice. I think that's one reason. Alright, fine. I found one reason to stay on the island. 
feel like I've actually been on this island like the longest, and it's one of the smaller islands, according to most people. Like, Ares, I think I spent like a good three, four hours on. This one, like, counting this stream, it's gonna be a few hours, and I'm still not even halfway to the goal of getting all the emeralds. But that's because it takes so long to get between the islands. I feel like there's still a lot more to see here. Alright, let me go all the way up here, if I can. I would imagine I can. Try to go up here and take those really high grind rails, see where that gets me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but when in doubt, do something new. This I haven't seen before. More cocoa. No cyberspace portals up here, so just so everybody knows. Not like I am looking for them, I'm not making it like my goal in life. Right now, my goal in life is to get to that really cool-looking structure in the distance. See if I can get onto that. Like, every time I think I'm getting closer to it, I'm really not. Uh, I think I know where this is going to take me, but I'll still do it. Ooh, that was pretty... Yeah, I'm back to where I was before. I'm closer to that structure. I don't know what the hell that was. I just hit nothing, but... I guess that is technically water. There's gotta be a way up there. I see rails leading to it. Like, I just want to do it to say I did it. Like, I don't know. I'm trying every which way to stay on this mountain. Enemies. Dead. Still really want to go up there, though. And it looks like it's possible, but let's see, I gotta try and go up this mountain and like not hit the the icy parts, obviously, or what are making me like fall down like that. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is taking me further away from where I want to go. This, so uh, if I can get up here... He's awesome looking. Damn, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like you want to see if you could just cheese it, you know? Like, I'm so close. Come on, Sonic, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it. Yes, we cheesed it. I don't know if that's going to get me where I want to go, but it's pretty nice. It's a nice view, let me tell you. Got to be careful. Why am I collecting so many skill points? They're literally not going to do me anything here. Oh, I see cocoa. I do need some cocoa. Get me some cocoa. Please, please give me some cocoa. Cocoa hiding up there. Okay. So. This is a challenge. Or it says it's a challenge. I don't see where the actual, like, challenge event is, per se. But I'm willing to try it. Oh, I see a spider down there. I know that's not the challenge, though. Oh, wait a minute. Is it these things? Do I have to, like, side-loop these or collect these or what? Okay. I see I'm getting closer to where I want to go. Is 
Got it. I don't know what that does, but I got it. Oh, that did make some rails. I just want to go to the big spiky thing in the sky. It's not even a metaphor for anything. It's literally just a big spiky thing in the sky, and I want to see what it does. That's how simple-minded I am. There it is. I could literally... Well, I can't climb to it, because that would require a lot of... I don't know what. Luck. Alright, so we did generate some rails, which is always a good thing. Get to that thing, though. Oh, shit. Screw it. Take the rail, see where it goes. It's not taking me where I want to go, but it is taking me somewhere. Pretty sure I've already been here, but better than nothing. Sometimes it's the only way to travel. I should have fought the spider while I had a chance. At least that was a different type of enemy. Yeah, where is that spider? I want to fight the spider. One of the things I saw in the trailers, I have not gotten to fight one yet. If I can get back here successfully, which is a big if, but if I can, let's, let's give it a shot, right? Why not? Nothing venture, nothing gained. I see it right down there. Fight the spider. Spider! Ooh, trippy music. Watch out. Ooh, okay, it moves the legs kind of fast, too, so you can't even really, like... Okay, that did some damage. I don't know if that did. That thing moves kind of fast. Hold on, that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. Well, I'm not even trying to do that move. Okay, this is the... Oh, geez, all right. Oh, sh Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at this. We got a little spiky things we got to avoid. Oh, this is very reminiscent of, like... Generations Unleashed type of stuff. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, that's not going to be cool. Keep going. Oh, no, that's like a Death Egg reference with a little teleporty thing. So that, that does damage to the boss. Hey, this, that, that's a fun encounter, actually. I don't know if that killed it or not. No, it's still, still going. I still need more level up. Like my power level is definitely lower than it should be at this point in the game. Spin slash him a little bit. That might do him in, actually. Because then we get Phantom Rush on top of that. Yeah, that did it. That did it. Give me that portal gear. Alright. Now we're somewhere new, it looks like. New to me, anyway. You guys all know where I want to go. I, I might be getting closer to it. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Right. Just take me back to where I fought the spider thing. What it looks like anyway. Alright, so what are you gonna do? Not much you can do here. Yeah. 
Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. So close, I'm so close to it. I just want to go, I want to play on it. Please. These don't really go any higher than this. Oh, look at how close I am to it. Uh, not going to find much luck there. I'm going to find like a million rings, but no luck on that. I can't remember if I've done some of these or not. They are admittingly similar. I feel like this is taking me to a new area, but not really the one I want. Oh, we got some enemies. Fight them again, I guess. Now I'm like kind of underneath where the, um, what do you call it is. The big spiky thing in the sky is I'm going to keep calling it until I think of a better name. Oops. I think I've been here yet. Let's blast through with sonic speed. Okay. Seems to be guiding me towards something. Is that another cyberspace portal? Well, before I go up there, we got another speed bat dasher, but that seems to take me the opposite way of where I want to go right now. Where's this taking me now? Wow. Oh, here we go. I think I'm here. I think I'm where I want to be. Oh, yes, please. I will admit I'm a little bit disappointed that it's more 2D than 3D, but, like, I'm on the thing. I think. It's hard to tell from this perspective. Is there anything underneath here? Okay, no, no, don't risk it. Don't risk it. No risk it. No biscuit. This is Sonic-rific right here. Hey, what's going on? Big Monday's right. It's the only way I know how to do it. How you doing, Randy? We got some Sonic Frontiers here. After much adventuring to try to get up here, I finally got to what I think is where I want to go here. This big old spiky thing in the sky, and I'm hoping there's going to be some payoff to this. Shit. Okay, at least I'm going to respawn somewhere near it, I'm hoping. Let's go as I die. Just fall right off the edge. It's okay. I meant to do that. I really did not mean to do that. Oh, that's some classic Sonic action. Oh, this is awesome. Give me some of this right here. This is some great Sonic action here. Definitely getting the platformer feel out of this right now. This is awesome. This is why I play. All day, every day. Again, I don't know what the payoff here is, if there even is one, but... I'm just going to see how high I can go on this thing. Seems like I can go up pretty damn high. Hello, Emerald uh, thing. Too bad I'm not... I always get to these before I'm supposed to. But screw it. I mean, look at that. It's freaking awesome. I can still talk to Tails, which I might do right now. While I... Uh... Oh, all right. Power boost time, I guess, again. How nice would that have been if it was a vault key? I still need... I only need one for one of the emeralds. I guess I need six for this particular emerald. This is probably the last emerald you get. That's why it's so hard to get to. Uh, apparently my controller battery is low again. But what else is new? All right, let's see what Tails has to say this time and how informative it may or may not be. There you go. How's your Monday going there, Randy? Because we detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here. 
Probably not. Did you figure something out? I'm trying to put the pieces together. The Ancients' technology was built specifically for the Chaos Emeralds and runs on their power. All of the Starfall Island systems, even cyberspace, were in a kind of standby mode without the Emeralds to power them. Once the power supply was restored, though, someone would have had to boot up the systems and get them running. I think I can Robotnik? guess who. Or Sage. Ah, huh. interesting. I'm doing pretty well. Playing some Frontiers. Doing the thing. Low battery on the controller. All that good stuff. Alright, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bid this area adieu. But it was fun. Oh, okay, I got a little skydiving section here. Got spike balls everywhere. Classic Sonic style. I'm actually impressed with how much they kept the DNA of Sonic intact in this game, despite how different it is otherwise. It's definitely a different kind of game, but... They somehow managed to keep the Sonic experience about as pure as possible. There's no easy feat. Right, actually, I, I don't want to be on here right now. I guess I have no choice. You always have a choice. Right, uh, what else we got? Holy there. I feel like there's going to be like some big enemy or something hiding out over here. Oh, no, we got some regular enemies, though. Whoa, what did I just do? I do enjoy doing that nonsense. Yo! Ow. Yeah. If I could find one of the freaking Cocos, Elder Coco or Hermit Coco, one of them, and then level something up on me. I've not leveled up in a long time. Another one? Yep. Go. Got behind them. Oh, all right. You got to hit him. That's fair. That's fair enough. Got to give the opponent some uh, respect there. I don't know how I'm doing half of these moves that I'm doing, but I'm doing them. I can also parry them, but I almost never seem to pull that off successfully. All right. So this bit of the island seems to be a little bit more inhabited. This here is also reminding me of Sonic Adventure with the stone platforms and everything. Pretty solidly stuck up here, it seems. Oh, maybe not. No, this is where I fought the spider before. I don't know how much of this area I've already seen or whatever. But I'm still looking. Now if I see any challenges or whatever, I will attempt them. Now this bridge here is the unusual one. Like I don't know why I was not able to get over this bridge before. Maybe that was just a glitch, but I have a feeling it wasn't. I have a feeling I'm supposed to not be able to get here yet. Yeah, there's an invisible wall right there. You cannot pass that. That is so bizarre. Leave it to me to find an invisible wall in an open zone game. It's probably like where you fight the boss or something. I couldn't tell you. Again, it's still really weird to be playing a Sonic game that I haven't memorized, like, every part of yet. It's kind of cool, though. I don't know what these structures are supposed to be. Not that I know what any of this is supposed to be. Okay, there's a little lava area here. I don't know if I've explored this before. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't, I don't know. No, no, this feels different, actually. Okay, now we beat 
be up here. Punching stuff. Getting rings. Punching stuff. Gotta love punching stuff. Couple more cocoa. Be all there really is to do there. Give or take. Now I can go there. I guess I have to. I thought there was another way to go. I really can't remember what I've seen before and what I haven't. A lot of this stuff does start to blend together, I must admit. Look, I've been up here before where the Death Egg robot parts are. Oh, we got some enemies. After him. Give him the business. You're trying to defend yourself with spikes? I think not. Yeah. Whoa, okay, maybe maybe that'll work. I don't know. This is intense. Yeah, it's intense moments for sure. I've definitely already been over here. But there might be a cyberspace portal I can try again or something. Um, I don't know. I mean, this island is massive, but they all kind of are. But, you know, I, say, I don't think I went this way last time. Anything different over here other than these weird-looking palm trees? This cool-looking fortress thing. There's always something cool right around the corner, you just never know where. Another island out there, I can't remember if I've been to it yet. I just, honestly, these worlds are absolutely massive. I gotta give it to Sega. Did not think they were capable of this. Alright, this is the dreaded, uh... How many do I need? I need one more key. So this one's gonna be for all the marbles here. This is this level that I keep messing up on. I need, like, a perfect run to get that key. So, let's see if we can do it. When I say perfect run, I just mean I can't die. This is ironically how the stream started. This is what we're doing even, like, an hour later. We're still trying to get a... Basically perfect run. I don't want to say it has to be absolutely perfect, but I cannot make, like, more than one mistake, I would say. If I make more than one mistake, I'm out. So, let's, let's, let's do this. This is for the S-rank time. So, here we go. Level's not hard, it's just hard that you can't make one mistake or you're gonna lose the S-Rank time. I think that's a little much. No, that's it. That's it. That, that, that's my mistake. I, I can't have to restart. I don't have to, but I'm going to. I gotta be super focused here. No, I played this course a number of times. I should know what to do by now. Nice save. That might have saved my run right there. We'll see. Not even sure if that was supposed to happen, but it happened, and I'm going with it. Fuck. That's all right. That's all right. If you're going to make a mistake, that's the place to make it, because that is, like, the quickest way... You get respawned, like, right where you started, so it's not, like, the end of the world. Not ideal, but it, it can be recovered.
Got it. I just watched my friend Matt Datsu play this game the other night. Nice. Oh, I needed that. I needed that. Holy crap. That was, I don't know if Shad's still even on the stream, but that was the one I failed the first time. And an hour later, I went back to it and I just kicked, I mean, I'm saying kicked butt because I still did die once, but that's huge. Because now I don't own, I not only get the last vault key I needed, but I also get the four bonus ones or the three bonus ones for completing all the missions because that was the last mission I had to complete on that one. So, yeah, that, that, that'll do. That will definitely do. It's going to have to do. Oh, my God, I needed that. Oh, I cannot overrate how much I needed that. I mean, yeah, I could have found another portal or whatever, but I still do want to find them all. But damn, I needed that. I only needed one, but that'll give me an extra three. That's what I want. I want those, those bonus. Those bonus three are going to be huge. All right, here we go. That would be, what, my fourth emerald, I think? Oh, here we go. I have found a possible scenario for your escape. It's about time. Report. After reviewing your entire campaign history, I have found the most optimal course of action is to... create an what? alliance with Sonic. What? Oh, nice work. references. Overcame Neo Metal. You I don't want to hear it. Alliances were purely out of desperation. But time is running out. I don't want to hear it. Find me another option. Wow. Your tenacity is legendary, but I do okay. wish to consider. Wow, all right. Well, a lot of people have predicted that, or had predicted that earlier, that there was going to be some alliance between Sonic and Robotnik. And again, that would not be unprecedented by any means. All right, let's pick up this next emerald and see where we go. If I can hit the ramp that's right in front of me, that'd be lovely. I like that scene, though. That was probably my favorite Robotnik scene so far. The fact that they referenced the Ark and um, Neo Metal, FA2, and Sonic Heroes. Which, uh, really, Robotnik doesn't really work with them in Sonic Heroes. I know, like, he, he wasn't the main villain in that game, but he also didn't really work with them. Whatever. Let's go get ourselves an emerald. Oh, first we got a power boost. Again. Oh, hold on, we got enemies. Ooh, that's like a reasonable idea. I do enjoy just messing them all up. Okay. Bam. I really wish I could level up my power right now. Do me a world of good to do that. Got a million of these seeds, though. All right, emeralds up that way. Let's try to get there. I'm not making any guarantees, though. Okay, the emerald should be right at the top of this hill here. As I'm still getting distracted by other stuff, but check it out. Keep me. Okay, I'm off with seven volt keys. Let's see. See, now that I'm starting to get a little bit more of the story, I'm getting a little more invested in the, well, the game altogether. Oh, here we go. The hell? The gun helicopters? I've lost 
lost count of how many times you've saved me from the hazards here. It is my function. Who is she? To serve. You've exceeded your function. I'm very impressed with you, Sage. You know, I'm proud of you. That was a weird moment. Because usually Robotnik is like, you know, not exactly like proud of people. Like, he's usually like berating his minions and all that stuff. And so that was actually kind of a nice moment as a longtime Robotnik fan to see Robotnik not like just being like, you piece of junk or whatever. Like, he actually like gave Sage some credit for saving him, basically. As for what those helicopters were, obviously in cyberspace, you have to, like, fight your fears or whatever, so, like, that's all I can imagine is that's part of Robotnik's memories is, you know, how, you know, him and Gun, that was, who that was there, had some strife in the past, but, yeah, I don't know. Let's find Tails. Let's see if we can learn a little bit more here. And then we'll go from there. That was a really good scene. So far, all the scenes with Robotnik have been very good. It's part of the reason I keep playing is like, I want to see what's going to go on with Robotnik here. Or not. Or I just want to fall off the stage and die. I don't know. <laughs> guess I'll die. Hey, okay. Alright, no worries. Let's find Tails, see what his deal is. I gotta be getting toward the end of this island now. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> these floating rails in the sky are not as uh, forgiving as they don't appear to be. This way. Oh, an enemy. Oh, it's the bird thing. I'm not too worried about it. As long as I can get the tails from where I am, which it looks like I can. Oh, squid. I really don't want to fight it, just because I don't want to be taken away from my objective right now. It doesn't even really put up a fight. It doesn't even try to get in my way, really. Oh, shit. I didn't even mean to hit the bird. The fuck, fuck the bird. Can you get off me. The one time I don't want to fly the stupid bird. this challenge oh it's one of these guys hold on I will do this one okay so how's your reading going oh, pretty well playing some frontiers we just saw Robotnik interacting with Sage of all people damn okay I'm not doing so well here and uh, he said that he was proud of her which was a nice little twist for the not so good doctor who's usually always angry about shit. Yeah, I've not gotten any of these yet. Damn, okay, alright. I feel you. They really make you hit these things. I might try this one again if I miss it. It looks like I'm going to. Ooh, now yeah, I'm not gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. Not gonna make it. That sucks. I just wanted to talk to Tails. Alright, let's load it up. One. Not one. I'm going to be lurking a bit. Oh, that's fine. I'm not even sure how much longer I'm going to be playing tonight. But I appreciate the lurking all the same. Why can't I get this thing like enough air to really get it where I want? Really? Oh, this thing is like stubborn as a mofo. Maybe I have to like get it from further away? No, that doesn't help. What are the physics on this? Alright, I'm actually gonna have to probably get fall to peak here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not beating that. This is the bridge here, and so hopefully after this I'll be able to, like, you know, do something with this bridge. But we'll see. 
right now. Alright, time for either a really wholesome scene or a really sad scene. Mm, looks kind of sad so far. Sonic? Ooh. I, a burden to you? I mean, I think so, but I'm not going to say wow. it. And how did you come to this well-thought-out concern? Whenever there's a crisis, yep. I either run yeah, away that sounds about right. standing on the sidelines. You are always rescuing me when Never all I Sonic do is you around. Hmm, <laughs> Sonic's like, whatever. Who was it who stopped me? Oh! Station Square, huh? And who broke me out of prison? Wow, all right. Sonic Adventure, Sonic Lost World things. I, then I'm wow. I don't know. I always get kind of chills when they show the screenshots of the old games. Like, that was pretty le legit. Dude, relax. <sighs> You've got brains like Eggman, speed like me, and I do enjoy fly flying with, with my butt. butt. It's okay if you still need help sometimes. That's just part of growing up. Right, I'm not gonna lie, this game has some pretty decent dialogue. You get to be so insightful. I have my moments. I really like the way they wrote Sonic in this. I've noticed. Out. I'm sure we can fix that. Oh, uh -oh. now you want to have a look around. Yeah, before, I've been trying to get up that bridge for like an hour, but no, no, now you want to have a look around. Maybe I don't want to have a look around. Oh, what song is this? This is kind of cool. This has such a Sonic Adventure feel to it. He even did a little smile. Okay, what's happening right now? Cross the river and operate the drawbridge control. So, no, you mean the thing I tried to do like an hour ago? Okay, this looks fun. This is actually pretty cool. See, these are the mini games I wish you could like redo. I'm guessing you can't once you beat the game. But, like stuff like this, I find very enjoyable. Plus, I'm not guiding stupid freaking Coco to their mommy or whatever. Oh, see, this is really cool. This is what we need more of. Like, not, not every of one of these little minigames has been a winner, but in terms of the side content, I think, like, Chaos Island might actually have it. Shit. There. We gotta make kind of like a little hole through the middle. Then we got the little death egg kind of circle. Which, yeah, this is, it, I mean, I usually don't like recycling content, but it kind of works here. Oh, this is actually gonna be tough. Hey, it gets me to the other side of the island, right? Oh, this is not good. Shit. Damn, I was trying to get this thing. Failed. All right. All right. All right. I can take a challenge. I can take a little challenge. Yeah, let's retry the quest. If you, I don't know. They call these quests. I don't really consider these quests. These are just like glorified mini games. I do want to see Sonic running up the bridge again. That was pretty sick. I like the music that just starts playing. I've never heard this music before, and I've played a lot of Sonic. That was really cool. All right, let's do this for real now. So, I thought the one with the lava was my favorite. I think this might be my favorite little side minigame thing. I really wish you could redo these after you beat the game. Like, even, you know, some people might have liked the Coco ones. I personally didn't, but... You, know, you want to give people that option, I think that'll be fine. This is awesome. Oh, no way on this dumb. Oh, gee, I keep doing that. That's on me. That's on me. That's not the game. A lot of people will be like, oh, it's so cheap or whatever, but no, that was me, just not knowing where to hit. So basically, you got to hit the ones that have, like, the little gold rings in the middle. I just wish that this little automated bit didn't count for the time limit. Shoot! Oh, man. This is fun, though.
like other Sonic games that have moments like this, and I feel like they would last like maybe a second. Like I always wish they last longer. Crap, that's that cost me. Failed again. It's not like I don't want to say it's easy or hard. It's it's something. Definitely something. Yeah, let's retry it. I'm gonna keep retrying it. It's not a bad mission. I could skip this part, but I don't really want to. It's too freaking awesome. In fact, I'm just gonna take off the face cam for a little bit now. I don't think anyone's really benefiting from it. The freaking snarky Sonic Adventure smile, though, is what sells me on that part. Oh, are you kidding me? I missed. I hit that on the first attempt. I love the music here. I mean, the music has been the best part of the game, or one of the best parts of the game. Like, they really, like, took their time with this music. Like, this, this music is excellent. Jesus. I'm getting, like, worse at this right now. That didn't really do as much as I was hoping for. Hey, this one is legitimately difficult, and I like it. Like, it's not difficult because, like, it's stupid, like the freaking Coco one. Like, it's just a little tricky. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. I mean, it's almost best to just not even engage with a lot of this other crap. See, like that right there? Oh, that just wasted all my time. Can I go around this? I can't go around this. It'd be too easy if I could. Hold on. Oh, I was so close. Oh. Oh, that sucks. I was, like, right there. Oh. I still love this scene, though. I mean, I could watch this scene, like, every single time it reboots. Okay, so I just got to... I missed, like, two or three of the simple ones toward the beginning there. So that, that's what really cost me at the end. All right, let's try and do this. Let's just do this. Come on. Did it, like, start me in the middle? I don't remember this. Like, I feel like this was harder before. Like, oh, no, this is still the same. So now we know why we couldn't get through the bridge before. Basically, just don't waste your time homing attacking the enemies, because that keeps you in the air too long. Stuff like that's all right, though. I'm glad there's at least not pop-in here, which is really weird, because I feel like if you were going to have pop-in in this game, it would be at, like, this kind of part. Where there's, like, stuff just, like, layered over each other, but... Hey, whatever. Shit. Oh, I'm an idiot. You really cannot make, like, a single mistake on these. Plus, there's probably a key to see. Like, that one, I feel like, just took me... Oh, my God. I am so bad. I am so bad at this right now. Retry it. Wow. I'm getting my butt kicked here by this. Oh my god, there actually is a daytime mode. That's how long this is taking me now. Now it's daytime and we're doing it. This is really cool, though. I like this a lot. It almost reminds me of a mini game from Sonic Shuffle, but, well, I don't know. Who the hell played Sonic Shuffle? I did. I remember there was a skydiving mini game to end one of the levels. Basically, just avoid everything, I guess. Like, sometimes you have to interact with something, but if you can avoid it, just do. Just giving myself advice. That is one fast day-night cycle, I'm sorry. Shit. I was trying to hit that one. Your homing attack locks onto everything. You really gotta pay attention.
Go. Got it. Wow. That is so, that was so cool. That was clutch. All right, so that lowers the drawbridge. So now in the future, I can just, I don't know, take the drawbridge. Holy crap, though. That was really fun. I usually don't like those, but that was really fun. And an emerald just appeared. I should have figured as much. I do enjoy the stupid emerald dance. This game has so many incongruent tones, I don't even care. Story really picks up from here, I notice, though. They say this was the, the last? last? The I feel like Ares was. Way to go. Your hero Who's will be your hero? With all your hard work. So, uh, this is about to get really sad, isn't it? What is that? He's dead. And the word zap appears in the sky yet again. And I'm proud of you. Don't forget that. All right, oddly touching moment, I will admit. Find tales for the millionth time. Well, not tonight, because I am going to go ahead and call it a night. But I appreciate everybody watching a little bit of uh, Sonic Frontiers here with Chaos Blur. Um, how many emeralds do I have? I know I keep checking. I've got five emeralds. I'm one key short of the next one. So basically, that's what we're going to be doing next time. We'll likely fight the Titan of this level. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully get to the next one but um until then i do appreciate everybody watching tonight this has been uh chaos blur as always happy to bring you the goods uh the sonic frontiers as promised has dominated the month although not entirely unopposed as christmas has of course also been a big storyline so i appreciate everybody who's been watching the streams all this time been supporting the channel uh it's gonna be a lot of more fun content to come i promise we're not always gonna be playing sonic frontiers just it's the newest thing right now. I've been waiting five years for the game. And so far, I am more surprised than I thought I'd be in a good way uh, how this game has turned out. So I appreciate everybody for watching the streams as always. We'll see you in the next one. As always, stay chaotic. We're out. Okay.